Today we will discuss about motion in a plane. Very short answer questions. Each question carry two marks. The first question is the vertical component of a vector is equal to its horizontal component. What is the angle made by the vector with x axis? Let us suppose this is a vector named a a bar. Then this vector resolves into two components along horizontal and vertical. The horizontal component is a cos theta. The vertical component is a sin theta. The question is the vertical component is equal to horizontal component. So the vertical component is a sin theta is equal to a cos theta so what is the angle made by xx what is the theta theta is how much so a and a gets cancelled then sin theta by cos theta is equal to 1 sin theta by cos theta is equal to 1 sin theta by cos theta means tan theta is equal to 1 then theta is equal to 45 degrees then the angle between the given vector and the horizontal component or x-axis is 45 degrees next question a vector v makes an angle with horizontal the vector is rotated through an angle alpha. Does rotation change the vector v? So, like same diagram, let a vector, this is v, makes an angle theta with horizontal or theta or alpha. If we rotate this vector angle, increase this angle, is it effect or not? They are asking. The magnitude remains constant when the, the vector is rotated. The magnitude remains constant. This is a V vector. This is a alpha angle. If I rotate this vector in this direction or in this direction, the magnitude remains constant. Direction changes for any value of alpha. Direction will change other than 2 pi, 4 pi and 6 pi. 2 pi means 360 degrees which goes to O then 4 pi also 2 rotations and 6 pi also 3 rotations so it won't affect ok next two forces of magnitudes 3 unit and 5 units acts 60 degree with each other what is the magnitude of their resultant here the solution is given let p is equal to 3 units q is equal to 5 units theta is equal to 60 degrees we have to find the magnitude of resultant that is r is equal to the magnitude root over p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta this is the magnitude of resultant vector so that is equal to 3 square plus 5 square plus 3 into 5 p q means 3 into 5 into cos 60 degrees 2 into this is 2 into 3 into 5 cos 60 degrees this is this will be 9 plus 25 plus 2 into 15 3 into 5 means 15 cos 60 means 1 by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled then this will be 25 plus 15 that will be 25 plus 15 40 plus 9 this will be 49 r will be which is equals to 
7. Therefore, the magnitude R is equal to 7 units. So this is the solution. Next. Next problem. A, A bar is equal to I cap plus J cap. What is the angle between the vector and x axis? So, this is A bar already given, which is equals to I cap plus J cap. This is theta or alpha theta angle. Then, this will be AX along x axis this is a y along y axis this is y this is x i have to find this theta value so for this angle we have to find tangent that is tan theta which is equals to y by x that means a y by a x otherwise we can draw this line this will be a y so according to this triangle this will be a y will be opposite side a x will be adjacent tan theta means a y and a x according to this vector that is i that is 1 i plus 1 j so a y is equal to 1 a x is equal to 1 so tan theta is equal to 1 by 1 then tan theta is equal to 1 theta is equal to 45 degrees next problem if uh, if p bar is equal to 2a plus 4j plus 14k q bar is equal to 4a plus 4j plus 10k find the magnitude of p bar and q bar so two vectors are given first we have to add these two vectors and find the magnitude of this sum of these two vectors the solution is first we have to add p bar plus q bar that is equal to we have to add i with i j with j k with k so first add 2 plus 4 that is 2 plus 4 into i plus into plus this will be plus 4 plus 4 into j j this is plus into plus this will be plus this will be j plus 14 plus 10 14 plus 10 into k now i have to add these things so p bar plus q bar will be 6 i cap plus 8 j cap plus 24 k cap now i have to find the magnitude of this vector modulus of p bar plus q bar is equal to root over 6 square plus 8 square plus 24 square that will be equals to root over 36 plus 64 plus 576 this will be that is p bar plus q bar within the modulus then this will be p bar plus q bar modulus is equal to the sum of these numbers will be 676 root over 676 if i add these things then the answer will be 26 units 
so root of 676 gives 26 next problem can a vector can vector of magnitude 0 have non zero components can a vector of magnitude 0 0 having non zero components this is no a vector of magnitude 0 cannot have non zero components without having non zero components the magnitude cannot be 0 for example let us suppose let us consider a vector a bar is equal to ax i plus a y j plus a z k if i calculate the magnitude of this vector this will be ax square plus a y square plus a z square under root this will be like this here a equals to 0 only when the three components must be 0 that means ax should be ax must be 0 ay must be 0 and az must be 0 so we, for non zero components the magnitude of vector cannot be zero next what is the acceleration of a projectile at the top of its trajectory the acceleration of a projectile at the top of its trajectory is equals to acceleration due to gravity g that means suppose an object is projected obliquely with an angle theta then the body reaches maximum height so this is maximum height with the uh, initial velocity u then uh, meanwhile it converts into final velocity at this maximum point the velocity must be equals to zero but at this particular situation the acceleration of the projectile equals to acceleration due to gravity then the object travels towards ground with uh, the acceleration due to gravity so at top of the trajectory the acceleration of projectile equals to acceleration due to gravity so this distance travels only with the earth's attractive force that is acceleration due to gravity next question when two right angled vectors of magnitudes 7 units and 24 units combine what is the magnitude of their resultant the thing is let p bar is equal to 7 units q bar is equal to 24 units for right angled theta is equal to 90 degrees for r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta so we had to substitute the theta value 90 that will be 7 square plus 24 square plus 2 into 7 into 24 into cos 90 degrees for cos 90 degrees this terms will be gets 0 that will be 49 plus 24 square for 24 square this will be the five gives 25 units r will be okay these are very very important questions okay thank you